Agreed. Hello, we are back. Map four. Guess you didn't know it was the best of five. This guy. <laughs> it was us. Oh, is they're going to be an attempt at another stun here? Did it work out? No. Looks like Kaluja's been able to channel the entirety of the portal. We have seen uh, this was previously won by uh by wholesome and it was all about getting sinatra up on this archway and giving him freedom of movement to just fire down Meek seems to get a pretty good angle here to start off actually all of the squad we're all up here and ready to go so i'm interested to see again what this hydron actually gives and how long they're going to stay on it for chaluj is getting a little bit pressured though Right, Ant is making some moves here. Found Hydron, gets two shots, but it's going to be uh, taken out right there. Kaluj manages to find that one. Still, I remix is down, so the resurrection. Uh, it's going to be unavailable here, and we l we're going to find ourselves in a lull. Yeah, it should be. It'll just be clean up now for the mutants again. The first rotation doesn't really go their way. And as we said, going into this series, it's been a battle of the hellers. It really feels like Ant and Hydron have had their fingers all over the kill feed. And that map, it was all ants, to be honest. And now that they've got the high ground on Shibuya, they've got to walk into them to the side of Wholesome. I think, again, if you're looking for someone to make the impact for mutants, it's all eyes on that range DPS of ants. Oh, already that res beacon's gone down. Now, for the next 20 seconds, it's going to be a less proficient push moving forward. Unlimited ammo. That calves through Kaluja shield real quick. Both Punishers are absolutely tearing through these tanks, but it's going to be eventually uh, mutants to actually give up the high ground here, even with Kaluja being as low as he is. A copy coming over. Oh, yeah, that's going to be an Ever Rocket Raccoon. Seems like this is the preferred copy for Harvey. Yeah, definitely. So you get so many cooldowns. I think the Raccoon is just fundamentally overkitted. To be honest, they've got so much to do and more. So why would you not grab two of them if you get the chance? And speaking of, that routine of Nuke does have their ultimate ready to go. But for the side of Wholesome, they've got four on board. Let's see, Chaluj goes to the Agamotto. It's big. Oh, man, it's a huge eye of Agamotto. A follow-up is solid. You can see Hydration just running in still. No kills come on through. SJP is going to try and make up for this. He's more no rooted in place with a judge for jury. The execution of a damage. Sinatra bought out their own. Yeah, Irie Wings is going to get raised. But guess who's going to be a lonely little tree all by themselves? Huge ultimate exchange given over there. All of the tank cults were used. The same for both Sinatra and Space. And now it's just going to be and who stands alone with an ultimate compared with hydration on the other side yeah what a crazy fight though because wholesome i thought they should have had that they hit the massive eye of Agamotto into the pull from remixes ult as well the i am groot as obviously it's called you know the only three words that the man can say but they just live mutants refuse to die and then they hit the wombo combo of themselves and it just works not really much else to be said ladies and gentlemen all the non-binary gamers in the chat Kaluj taking a hell of a amount of a damage though Oh, yeah, that unlimited ammo just tears through Kaluj. Ant is still being a pain on the other side. Has Sinatra in their sights. This is a hella proficient duel at that range. Still, he's going to be forced off the area. Kaluj once again under pressure. SJP rolls forward with the shotgun. Doesn't want to overextend. The death of the Punisher has often been a harbinger of a lost fight. Up into the air goes Hydron using their own ultimate. What an angle that they've got here. SJP and Harvey under massive pressure. Forced out. That's going to leave Vinny alone. Vinny's going to have to play this very cautiously. And TTK's isolated as well. Maybe Vinny can try and facilitate a re-engage coming through. It's been an uncharacteristically slow approach here from the side of wholesome maybe fatigue starting to get to them in this series yeah and i think they're just being a bit more patient as well really looking for the opportune moment to go for something but that opportune moment might just be it as the ultimate comes in from i think that was the copy onto the punisher yeah this is a copied punisher coming through here with a harvey on the off angle vinny's managed to find it we saw actually irunix invested his own ult to try and shut down this punisher off but was copied over from harvey the eye of agamotto blocked by ttk seemingly actually it may well have been a copy coming through from harvey that made that happen and healed on up and wow this now has to be a play for a draw i think coming through from wholesome they have been absolutely flummoxed on their attack uh, they got nowhere in Shibuya. They have been absolutely Time sealed. Say hello to Satori Dojo for me down there because they got nowhere. They were completely just blocked. The defensive um, angles at which the mutants were able to control a day was, was so, so good. It just felt like every time that Wholesome wanted to walk forward behind their tank, Sinatra goes on an angle, Hydron goes on an angle. They're just looking for some way to get around and behind the massive brick walls that are TTK and Vinny. 
Wow. More people are there to beat them on the angle, force them off it, and just ultimately strip them of their entire HP and send them back to spawn. Well, I have got a stat line for you. Vinny currently has the most damage and the most final blows on his team. That is one heck Sheesh. of a Groot. I am Groot. Bro certainly is, damn. And Ant, 6 and 2. Harvey yet to die. The same for Vinny. That's very rare for a uh, for a Groot up against a Punisher. Yeah. I think it just speaks volumes to how Vinny was able to navigate not only the hard cover of this map, but the walls in between it as well. There's so many tight choke points in corners, particularly on this first point. You just sort of just get out under the archway that now all of Olsen have positioned themselves on. And Vinny's just able to live that way and extend the duration because even if they go down to 100 HP, if both their supports are there, they're going to get instantly bursted back up to full and it's effectively like the damage never even happened. Kaluj, unlikely to use the portal here, is going to have to be used for a re-engage, I imagine, when there's no room for error. And of course, you've got to think about how different the game's going to be now that it continuously has to be a touch on the point, right? Because you yeah. can't give away a single tick. Oh, they go for the, the TP behind and they've got the high ground, Kaluj, though. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Kaluj, very good at trying to shut those down. SJP unlikely to be rezzed here, so it wasn't enough time to set up one of those beacons. Vinny, I think, has fallen down too. Yeah, now TCK is going to be a hostage. This is not the beginning that mutants wanted. Now they're going to be consistently playing from behind. And this is not good. They kind of just need to honestly die and get out. Get their ultimates. Charge and go, because while she can fight on the point for the side of mutants, they went for this TP as well. Did Holtham on their attack, and it got the same result, you know? What is the definition of madness? Like, I find myself repeating this every time I cast these thoughts. What is the definition of insanity? Because I have just witnessed it from both of these teams. Yeah, SJP kind of staggering themselves back here. Very still Skurria Force in the back. They're going to have a real tough time building up those ultimates though, and I don't think they can dislodge Sinatra without significant support from the tanks. Yeah, there's Hydron taken out, and I think it's time to call this one. They're already down a minute. Yeah, and particularly now that the ultimates are coming up online, for the side of Holton because they're winning this fight, right? They're doing more damage, but I mean, okay, clearly Nukes disagrees with us. They're trying to fight in this tight room with that unlimited ammo, with oh. that ultimate. Harvey with the ant manages to get a little bit of splash damage onto I remix. He splash too far. The Eye of Agamotto comes through from Kaluj. The follow up onto Sinatra somehow is better. TTK drags everyone in. There was a secondary ultimate coming through, I believe, from Hydration over there. Wait, maybe? wait. It doesn't seem to have gone amazingly. No one's on the point. No. Mutants. They just in the chaos managed to sneak that point out from under Wholesome, and that's going to be a 3 1 victory, providing this is the best of five. Who the fuck knows? No, no fucking idea. Yeah, but oh my god, not a Charles 9. Not in this game as well. Oh man, that's crazy. I saw Hydration go for a copy on the enemy Doctor Strange. I think he eyed nothing. Maybe it was just spam pressing Q? I have no idea. Yikes. They got uh, shielded off, I believe, from the uh, from the Strange at the last second. Last crazy. Second Damn. Pretty good.